Okay, there we go. Can you hear me now? Okay, good. All right, so one of the most redeeming qualities about Taka is his face, like I was trying to say earlier. You see the model, you see the face, obviously. It's one of his most redeeming qualities. It's one of his most beautiful expressions in the VTubing scene. His face is his marketplace, literally. You see the beard, or like, you, he has that beard that is shaved, but it's not shaved. It's kind of like, like, Oh, I'm a, like, teenager or, or that wants to look like an adult face with the beard and the mustache, you know. It's there, but it's not there. It, that's what it gives off. The eyes really does sell the model and the nose, like the nose nose, he reminds me of Shaggy. Oh my. Uh, Joey, seriously, he reminds you of sh Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna argue with that. That's why he's known as the himbo of comedy. He really is the himbo of comedy. I, I'm not gonna lie on that. He is the himbo of, like, the abridging scene. Um, Shaggy is one of those. Well, what's up? He... What's up, Joey? What's wrong? Seriously, like, let me get him in a Discord call. Like, hold on. Hey, how's it going? Nothing was wrong. What? Nothing was wrong. Oh, nothing was wrong? Okay. Like, you went, um, yep. And, like, I was... No, I was like, mm -hmm. Oh, mm hmm Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, with Team Four Stars Taka or not everyone, like... The one thing that he is known in the abridging scene is the hilarious himbo. And when we're making this V-Roy model, like, we gotta capture everything from the beard to the nose to the eyes to the eyebrows to the expressions. And you can see, like, here's, like, his disgust face. Here's, like, his nervous smile. Here's his serious face. We're also gonna have to end up catching the hair. The hair is gonna be important. The most defining features of Taka or not is his face and hair. It's one of the greatest qualities of his VTuber. Now, this thing will never be publicly released. I will not end up putting this on any platform. It's going to stay on my computer. And if Taka or not says, hey, I want that model, you know, like, what do you want for it? I'll end up selling it to him, like, somewhere around, like, $50. Like, I, I'm not going to charge him, like, an arm and a leg for it. I'm not that type of guy. Especially if somebody as popular as him. So, we need to find the right nose. Because, as Wolverine says in, like, the uh, Death Battle versus, like, Raiden episode, the nose, nose, bub. So there we go. I think we found the nose we need. Okay, now we need to work on the mouth. I mean, like, mouth is just pretty explanatory. Like, teeth are okay. He really doesn't have any lips. So what we need to do is go to the skin, and we need to find that, you know, like, rough exterior, that, that rough McGruff-like feel of the face hair. You know, like, that's what's going to end up set, making this model, like, look a little bit more like Taka or not. Like, I guess it'd be under face paint. Ah, it would. Okay, so, like, let's find that gruff. Ah, there it is. Not exactly entirely what we're looking for. So, we need to keep searching, like, face mold, Inugami, like, 
That would explain why, why he's always not asleep. The man suffers from sleep depression. Um, that's a little bit much. That's way too much. Uh, earring. Nope. Nope. Okay, so like, we're going to go with this. And we're going to keep it that way. So, next one we... So, right now what we need to do is make his nervous smile. Like, the one thing that sells Taka's image is his face and his hair. I said that before. So, his smiling, like, I guess it would fall under, like, nervously surprised. So, uh, like, am I going to go here? We're going to go with mouth, right? So, what we're going to end up doing is going with more of a smile and, like, what we're gonna end up doing is closing the base of the mouth, right? So, surprise, what we gotta do is go like... Okay, you see, there's the bit of the nervous smile we all... No, it did not come off the ban list, but, um... Like, I will have to say, like... Uh... I end up finding out that Skill Drain was hit the one. Sorry, Joey. It's okay. Yeah, it was hit the one. It wasn't banned. Um, so let's see here. Okay, so we got the like we got the nervous su surprise look. Now what we need to go with is angry. Like we we gotta make him look angry, but meanwhile, like the bottom lip has got to go up. Like no. Nope. No, those are the teeth. Those are the teeth. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. Okay, so like, hmm. Doing more of a smile that way. Okay, kind of good, kind of. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at the representation. I, I am a master at this. Oh, holy crud. Like, look at that. Look at that. No, like, his disgust face is there now. Like, ee. Okay, like, what we need to do is, like, work with the eyes now on it. With the disgust face. So, let's take a look back look at the disgust face. Like, you see the eyes. They kind of look a little withered like that. So, we're going to have to manipulate the eyes in a very, very unique way. So, we're going to have to go with, like... Masculine eyes. We're gonna have to remove like a bit of no, we're gonna keep angry. Like what we need to do is like go like this. And let's take a look back at the art. Okay, like now we got a little bit of like depression in it, right? So we got sadness. What we have to do is add a little bit of happy, alright? Like like kinda like that. Lift the sad a little bit. Lift the sad a little bit. Go with a little bit more of the happy and like ah there we go nah now now you can see where we're going with this like he kind of looks a mixture of happy sad and angry it's just like he's just he's upset he's disgusted in that matter so like we we got his angry face down to a point where like he looks like oh he's happy he's sad and he's angry. He's just disgusted. It's a mixture of the emotions you gotta go with on this. You know? And let, let's look at it like his happy face, right? Like, okay, so this is generally like, this is him being smug right now. That's a smug face. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna put that, because we, we already got surprised, you know, like, we got, we got like, upset and, and like, just disgusted. Um, where do we add smug? I, 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 I guess, like, I guess, like, neutral? I guess we're gonna put it... No, we're gonna... We're gonna put it in, like, the sad. So, we're, we're gonna end up going, like, lifting the sad a bit. Um... Alright, now, we gotta give him the eye look like he's bored. Like, he's, he's just bored, you know? Because, like, with the eyes, like, in this situation, you got, you got to give them, like, I'm so bored of this shit. 
Because that's what he's given like off. It, like it only existing and that's it. Yeah, like like I'm seeing what ha- what's happening and I'm bored. Like, okay, there we go. We got the bored kind of like expression with the eyes. Uh, a bit. Like not exactly the way I want it, but close enough. Okay, now we gotta give him that smug upper lip. So what we're gonna have to do is like Go with smi- not smiling, right? We're gonna have to, like, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to go with, like, angry. We're gonna have to lift the sad a bit, right? So we w- we want to give him that smug face exterior, while still smiling, you know, like, give him that smile, but that smug exterior with it. All right, so like, we're gonna end up putting like, not surprise all that much, okay. Right there, I guess that's as smug as we can get with it, you know, like, um, I guess like neutral, like, no, we really can't get that smug look, um, remove the sad a bit, uh, angry, no, neutral, no, like, bit of happy, no, not happy, surprised. Okay, what we need to do is end up closing the mouth. At this point, like, uh, new, new, um, new. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're finally getting somewhere. All right. How are we gonna end up closing this bad boy? I remove the surprise a bit. Okay, yeah, I, I guess that's the best we can do right now. With like, like giving him that smug look. It looks more depressed, so we're gonna have to work on that. Um, we're gonna have to end up selling the eyes more, right? So we're, we're gonna have to make him like a little bit more open. A little bit less angry. What we're gonna have to do is add a little bit more smart. There, okay, like almost, just, just almost there. Just almost there. Like we don't want to look, want him to look depressed, but we want him to look smug with it. So. Yeah, smiling a bit more, a bit more neutral. Mm-hmm. A little less sad, right? Okay. A little bit more, ha- not, surpri- not surprised, right? Okay, so. We really can't give him that smug look because, like, holy crap, this is a pro- We ran into our first problem. Like, we really can't give him that smug look. Wow. That is disappointing. All right, our D&D campaign. Um, I, I was going to save that when we, like, we got past the beginning in stage, really. I didn't really want to talk about it tonight. You know, Joey? Like, I want to get past the tutorial level before, like, literally talking about our new campaign. Um, all right, so we got smiling, we got neutral, we got, like, him being angry and disgusted. I, like, really don't like that happy look. Like, we got, uh, like, obviously him just being, like, um, like, kind of, like, nervously happy or surpri- nervously surprised. Okay, now we need to work with the hair. Like, obviously, this is one of the most defining qualities of Taka or not. So what we're going to do, we're going to go with, like, this hair base, and we're going to edit the main color, right? So what we're gonna do is end up accessing this, and we're gonna go to Taka's art, okay? Like, I literally need to hit this and go over here. And look. 
damn it. It's really difficult, right? So the first thing we gotta do is like hit down the, I guess it's a really dark blue, right? Like we really, really gotta go into like the darkest blues. Um, we can go darker. We can go a little bit darker with that, okay. Like we gotta add a little bit of dullness to the blue. At, a little bit more darker, and it, there we go. Okay, there's the dull, dark blue. Okay, so apply when, like, editing. Now what we're going to end up doing is we got to go back to Taka's art and look at his bangs. All right, like, the front part of his hair and his bangs are, like, going to be the most difficult part. So what we need to end up doing is going over here. Like, okay, so that's close to what we're looking for, right? That, that's not close enough. Okay, so like, we, we gotta give them like that male foofy factor in the front. It's literally what's gonna make the model look like, oh, it looks close enough to be Taka or not. And this is what, uh, like, when people make models like this, like, art is expressive. It's what sells your image. And with Taco, we need to do this right, of course. Like, we got to give him the right bangs. Uh, no, not that one. No, not that one. No, not that one. No, not that one. Nope. Nine. Nuh uh. Ain't happening. Nope. <sighs> okay, yes. Okay, this is good right here. All right, now what we need to do is go to the sides. Now we take a look at Taka's sides. Like, these are like kind of like his long-haired sideburns. Right here is like where we got to look to, like, obviously get the right long bangs, like, Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, next what we need to do is with the back hair. We're going to have to do like a little bit of like, no, that's pigtails. Close, but no cigar. Nope. Ah, okay, that's going to end up doing it. All right, so like now what we need to do is go to overall hair. No, like... We literally gotta hit the back of it. So, what we're gonna end up doing is giving him this. Not good enough. Not good enough. Now, I wanna make this right. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that smoke face. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing is like. My bad. So what we need to go to is custom, like, hold on, like, main color, right? So, now we gotta go over here, right? So we need to go to base here, we need to do that, we need to do that, edit text, no, like, custom hair base, edit texture, start editing texture. All right, so what we're gonna do is go here, Gonna have to recreate that color, you know. God dang it! Okay, so we're gonna have to recapture that hair color again. All right, so I think it's right here. What we're gonna do is that. What we're gonna do is edit there. Okay, now it's in the customs. Now we go over here, we go to customs, and boom, done. Like, I think it's supposed to be darker than that, right? Yeah, it was. So, go boom, and boom, and boom, 
add color over here. Okay. Okay, now that's better. Okay, so we're going to say this is a new item. Okay, so now what we need to go is do the front hair. We're going to edit the main color and we're going to turn it this color. Okay, now what we need to do is go with the highlight color and make it more of a brighter blue. Look at that. Like, it's not exactly what we're going to get, but side to side comparison, I think, like, it's going to be okay. It's not perfect, but kind of sells it itself in that regard. Like, now what we need to do is, like, go over here and go with the length. It literally goes to his hips. So, what we're going to do is go to hairstyle. We're going to go over here and we're going to create, like, we're going to make his hair just a little bit more longer at 46. We literally got to put everything at 46 in length. Because we do not want to freak this up. Like, by the end, this model is going to be put in an art tonight. Of Taka or not, surrounded by pollen saltas. On a freaking throne. This man is literally considered, like, one of the most well-respected male VTubers. And one of the things he's most respected for is bringing in the ladies. All right? He's, he's a ladies man. He's the ladies man of the Weary 101. And we need to sell that. No, I'm not going to end up doing a bun on Taka. I do not want to piss Senpai off. Joey. I'm not going to piss off my senpai. Like, if there's any male VT in the industry I can consider my senpai, it's Taka or not. I'm not going to piss off my senpai for you. No! Stop it! This ain't Chung Lee, god dang it. <sighs> I'm surrounded by children. Okay, so what we need to do is make him a bit taller. And now we're literally going to have to decrease his body size. Like, body mass in general. Like, increase his height. Because Taka is like a tall guy, so we need to increase his height and decrease his body mass in that regard to kind of match that, like, overall, like, <sighs> epic man he is. Right? So, like, Taka or not is just such a tall, adorable guy, right? He's thin, he's tall, he's adorable. Everyone loves him. Okay, so now what we need to do is start working on the, like, bar outfit. This is going to be rather simple. What we need is an undershirt, a vest, a tie, the pants, and the loafer shoes. By the end of this, this is going to be like a V-Roid model of Taka or not. And it's, so we already got, like, the bartender shirt. Maybe something a little thinner. New. No, not that one, right? So, bartender shirt. All right. We're the best. Mm, really can't do the best right now. So, we're going to... I guess go to edit textures. On this one. All right. We're going to add a new template. What we're going to end up doing is adding a vest. Right, so what we need to do is look at like tops. Which one of these can like work kind of like a vest? Uh, tops, 
No, no, no. Well, inner top. No, 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 no. That motherfucker. Like, why didn't I think of this? Why didn't I think of this? Like, remove that. Okay. So right there, we got the first part. What we're gonna do? We're gonna end up removing this layer. Delete this texture in general. Okay, so we got that. What we need to end up doing is it's more like a schoolboy outfit. We need to make this a vest. Hmm. Okay, so. A new plan right so what we're gonna end up doing we're gonna we're gonna end up adding the tie like the size is gonna be important like we got the tie now we're gonna change this to the blue and we're gonna add this of course Go over here. Okay, there's the tie. All right, now we need to find out how to make the vest. And this is gonna be interesting, like making the bartender vest from like scratch. Hmm. Save as new. All right, so we got that. How are we gonna do this? That ain't gonna work. Hmm. The vest, the vest, the vest. Like, I really can't make the bartender vest, can I? From like here. Wow, that that is upsetting. It's upsetting, but only by a little bit. So what I could is we're gonna go over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna edit texture, and we're gonna have to export this. And we're gonna have to put this in 3D's paint. So I'm gonna end up putting this in VTuber textures. And we're gonna put this as like, bar V I V vest. We ended it there in bar vest. What we're gonna end up doing is going to 3D paint. We're gonna open up new project. Recently, like 3D paint won't be available on Windows 10 anymore. There's a massive update announcing that. That upsets me. They're removing it from Windows 10. Uh, from like the online store at least, right? So this means like if you haven't gotten it before, you need to now because once this thing is gone for windows 10 it's gone it won't be coming back sadly what the nanny the frick happened oh wrong layer okay like this is the layer we need all right we're gonna export i can't believe i did that to myself Okay, so we got the layer. Now we need to go to bar vest. Where's the bees at? Bar vest. Okay, save. Yes, replace it. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is getting rid of that. And getting rid of that. We're going to end up... Wow. That was... Well, it looks like Taco went completely top, topless there for a minute. Uh, what we're gonna do is go back over here, right? So we're gonna open up Windows Paint again, new project, insert. Hmm, bar miss. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we need to go to canvas, fake transparent. Okay, there we go. All right. So, how am I gonna end up solving this? Number one, we're gonna move the, remove the sleeves. The sleeves have to go. 
Uh, thank you, Joey. Like, dude, you don't have to stay so silent. You can talk. They can hear you. I know. I'm just shot. What do you mean, shot? I'll have to get over. Over this camera shot. I'll have to get over it at some point. Well, it's just your voice. You're not on, like, they're not seeing your face. Your confidence, okay, yeah. Like, yeah. working on your confidence, like, being in a streamer with me like that, is a good exercise for that, I'm not gonna lie. Like, one of the things I got over when being a Yugi tuber is, like, being, like, not very talkative in my videos, because, like, the one thing that ends up selling like a live stream or a video is being very talkative and engaging. Um, like being a streamer kind of helps you out like, with that. And you do have a lot of bravery when you do this. I will mention that. Like you're getting over a major fear and I highly respect you for it. Give it up for Joey, everyone. Just, what? I just heard Michelle say the wrong thing and then I'll ruin everything. Uh, well, like, I guess, like, I need to find, like, the rule page of Twitch TV so you know what not to say, what you can say and what you can't say. Um, is how I should, like, really do this with you. Um, I haven't shown you that. Uh, that's on me. On that regard. that That's on me. Like, I really haven't shown you that. Uh, not a really good teacher, am I? I like the, the streams and the designs that Oh, thank you. All right, so what we're going to do is save. Like, you go back to uh, textures. Put this in bar vest. Okay, now that should be saved. Okay, now what we need to do is go to edit texture. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new template. We're literally going to put, um, let's see here, like, how are we going to end up selling this one? Like, wide collar, t-shirt, neck shirt. No, like, it really is not a neck shirt. It's not a t-shirt. A wide collar shirt. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to, like, remove this. What we're going to do is add the texture now. As we need to find the bartender vest in new problem, we chose the wrong layer. Yeah, we we chose the wrong layer. So what we're gonna end up doing is deleting this layer in general. We're gonna add a new template. All right. So it's not gonna be wide collar shirt. Um, uniform vest, I guess. Right. So we're going to end up masking that. We're going to end up putting the vest over the shirt. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is getting... Wow! Just... Just wow on that one. Um, let's see here. So, default design. Okay. So... We're actually getting some places. So, what we need to do is like... Hmm... Okay, we need to do a tactical retreat on the design. What we need to do is go back to presets. We need to choose the proper preset. So... <sighs> lovely complicated mistakes. Gotta love them. Gotta love these tiny little accidents. Okay, so that's the one we had beforehand. 
We need the sleeves to be thinner. Or, or like the waist. Uh, in that regard. Like, no. No. I mean, close, but no cigar. In that regard, uh, Well, now, why didn't I go with this? So, what we're going to end up doing is changing the tie in general. Like, we're going to remove those. No. Like, he doesn't have a strike tie. So, like, what we need to do is, like, okay, so. Add a layer and like base color instead. We end up changing the base color to dark blue. We're gonna turn it to the blue. Both sides to the blue. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. All right. So the tie's there. Now what we need to do <sighs> is add a new layer. So what we end up doing is like delete, right? We're gonna do delete. We keep that. We need the rolled sleeves, like the necktie, add a template. Okay, here we go. This is where it's finally gonna come together. So we add the vest. Okay, now what we need to do is go to the vest, blur that out. Add in the actual bartender vest. This is not in. <sighs> New problem. It's not that. Okay, so right, what we need to do is. Okay, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to add in a third layer here. Right? Ah! Oh! <laughs> nice. So we're going to end up like... deleting this okay there we go now what we need to do is tuck in the tie so I'm gonna move like how am I gonna do this because we need to move something up here It's gonna look cringy as hell with the tie on the outside. Um, I'm gonna remove the necktie. Okay, same as no. Alright, so we got the bartender outfit. Uh, white top. Okay, there we go. Alright, now what we need to go do is go to accessories. I guess, like. That'll sort of do. Um, needed to be underneath though. I mean, it works. It looks like it's underneath the vest. So what we're gonna do is edit texture. We're gonna go with base color. We're gonna turn it dark blue. Okay, there we go. All right. Good enough. Okay, so Taka has his. You know, vest, obviously. He's got his hair. 
Well, next, what we need to do is work with the paints. So, get it. What happened to, like... Daughter of a no-life king. Like, what the hell happened to the art? You know, Taka. Hold on. Like... T A Takahata VTuber open up a window of that art open up a new window no like open up an uh, image and a new tab okay now we need to bring this over here and then we decrease the size decrease the size yet again okay so now we gotta work on the pants. I'm like, okay, so the vest is black. So we need to go back to the vest. We need to edit textures. Okay, so now we need to work on this, right? So. We're just gonna end up like, we're gonna keep it the way it is. Cause like, forget. That'll be way too much work right now. Because we've come so far, and we're not going to stop here. Okay? So now what we're going to end up doing is... Resets. We're going to go down to the... Paints. Alright, so we need to kind of look like... Find what represents Taka's paints. And... You know... Like, look at that. Like, what we got here is, like, really tight, baggy jeans. And, like, you know what? That works. That works. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right. So, now we need to go with the shoes, and we need to find the right shoes. You know? We, we, I... I don't know if I should be just impressed or just disappointed. Um, Joey, your thoughts on this? Like, Taka shoes are that easy to find? On um, V-Roy, who do you give him black socks? I'm gonna edit the shoe textures, of course. Like, we're, we're literally just gonna turn the base color like it needs to be black. Joey, your thoughts on how easy it is to make this model? Joey. Guess he doesn't want to say me. seven out of ten. Yeah, it's that easy, huh? Seven out of ten. How easy it is to make Taka's model in Veroid Studios. <sighs> oh well. So, Taka Arnott's model is finally made. Wow. Um, I didn't think it would be that easy. Um, like it really didn't take, it only took less than an hour. So we're going to export it as VRM. Just had to turn off Discord. Okay. Export. I'm guessing your grandpa is like uh, uh, sleeping or something. Like grandma and grandpa are sleeping. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, so what we're going to end up doing is, uh, Putting this, like the title is, um, Takahata of TFS, the team Takahata 101 TFS. Uh, creator, uh, 
is obviously like commander like got the commander D for commanding your nuts. Okay, so like I don't want people to see my contact information of my email. Um, please enjoy Talk Our Knots face for the time being. Y'all, you're welcome, everyone. Reference male VTuber B A R bar T E N bartender. One oh one. Version 0 0.1. Okay, there we go. All right. So, 0 0.1. Only the creator. Uh, descriptions of violence. Uh, Taka's not really a violent person. Descriptions of sexual acts. He, he's... He makes a lot of sex jokes. I'm not gonna lie on that, he does. Uh, personal information, URL, I'm not really prohibited. Export. Okay. So, Talk to Arts, like VTuber, is like a V Roy VTuber of Talk to Arnott is finally done. Like, I'm literally just going to end up putting this into my VTubers, right? Of TFS. Boom. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Now what I need to do right quick is I'm going to end up opening up a uh, image tab, all right? And what I'm going to end up doing is searching up an art of a throne room. So... T, like, hold on, like, let me double check, tap that on my cell phone. You know, like, let, let me check, let me do an English check. It gives me more dad vibes, so I'm, I'm gonna, like, um, man cave. A throne in a man cave. Thrones in a man cave. Okay, so what we need to do is find the, like, the vibe check, you know? Like, what we need to do is look up the proper vibe of a throne room that vastly benefits Taka or not right now. Throne, art of a throne in a man cave. So, A-R-T, like, we just don't want to go with, like, a fourth dimensional man cave. We want to go with something more artsy uh, in that regard, so. Mm. I don't want to give him like a scary, like tormenting throne. I want to give him something like. <sighs> I want to give him something more up his alley. See more anyway. Like something that just screams Taka or not, you know, like he's Canadian after all. Like we we need to get that Canadian vibe check. I think I found it. Like that's not really Canadian, that's more like, you know, Queen of England type feel, but Like, 
It's more of a throne room. <sighs> Taka's got to be enough ego as is. Um, we don't need to make it any bigger. Um, if he sees this live stream, he's probably going to rip me apart for it. So... Like, he's not going to rip me apart, but he's going to pick at me, you know? Like, he's going to joke around about it. Um, like, he doesn't come off like a game of... He is a Warhammer guy, though. Bingo. Nah, we need to find a golden throne room. Nah, nah, he's a Warhammer guy. I forgot that, okay? Like, no, Taka's like a Warhammer guy and a Warhammer 40K, so what we need more is like a Warhammer 40K, like golden... Th if I go with a golden throne room, I won't hear the end of it. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I want to do this right, you know? Like, I, w I want to give off this vibe check right with Taka, because, like, supposedly he's dating Kim Rai. And Kim Rai is, like, the female VTuber of chaos. You know, like, blood, chaos, uh, corruption, right? So, like, Taka would need to have that vibe. Well, up. That'll do. That'll do. That, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. This this will do. This will do great for the vibe jack. Ooh. 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 I like this. I like this. Oh. No, it's like, it's going to give him like that Warhammer 40k vibe while also giving him that uh, like feel of like, yes. Uh, like, I'm a chaotic, dark, good. Like, he, he gives off, like, this chaotic, horny, dark good with his VTuber. So, like, no, nah, like, Takahata's, like, throne room. Now, we're, we are literally giving the man his own throne room. Oh, my God, yes. Now, this is going to be perfect. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, uh, Takahata's throne room. Oof. Oh, that gives me chills. Oh. oh, okay. So now what we need to do is like put Takahata in like some poses. So what I'm going to end up doing is opening a second v magic mirror. And... Obviously, like, giving him, like, this throne room, like, position in a seat. You know? So, this, this is going to be interesting. Because, like, this is going to be a bit challenging. Um, hmm. No, maybe not. Maybe not be right. Okay, so. Ah! Why did I do that? Where did I go? Mommy! Where am I? Okay, there I am. Ah! Why do I do this to me? I vanished into the void again! <sighs> it's dark. I'm scared. He's, I, where am I right now? Okay, I'm back. Mommy was scary. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, like, let's bring me down to earth. Uh, a bit. <laughs> uh, so instead, what we're going to end up doing is, like, opening Ava Kent, alright? 
So, uh, we're gonna go to play, and what we're gonna end up doing is very simple. Uh, we're gonna use Ava Kit. We're gonna put Taka or not to VTuber into the program. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is putting him on his throne. So, let's see if we can end up doing this. So, we're gonna go to Avatar, we're gonna go to Upload, we're gonna go to... Backrooms? No, like we need to go to VTuber, my bad, VTubers. Um, where is Taka, where is Taka, where is Taka, where is Taka? Okay, there we are. Boom. Okay. We got him uploaded. Okay. Okay, there he is. Now we need to go to background. What we need to do is upload the background. Pictures. Back room. Where is Taka's, like, throat? Okay, throat room. Boom. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now, we got Taka, okay? What we need to do is adjust his position. You know what? No, we're gonna keep it as is. Okay, so what we're gonna go with is expression. We want him to be happy. No, like, no, no. Relax. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with surprise on this one. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing is going to size. We're gonna go with like full body. Okay. Now what we need to do is go to perspective. Okay. Now what we need to do is I guess decrease the size, right? Interaction no, effect no, prop no, background no, expression no, avatar. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna make it, no, that doesn't help, that doesn't help, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Okay, so we're gonna add an effect instead. Um, glow? No, stars. Yeah, I guess it's not really important. Um, an avatar, like background prop. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing is uh, why is the effect so far off? Right, so what we need to do is like okay, there we go, it's removed. Alright, so Alright, so ah, you go with tracking on. What we're gonna do is like I guess me oh okay so like tracking won't work with like two separate programs at this point in time all right so no problem with two vtuber or programs it's not going to work that means i need two cameras all right, we're gonna, we're gonna reapproach this, like, right? We're gonna do VC Magic Mirror instead, as we should have in the first place. All right, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna end up changing my, I'm gonna end up like, obviously loading Takar not VTuber into the Vroid algorithm. Just doing a test. Okay, good. All right. Now, what we're gonna end to do is removing the accessories from the program right now. We go over to load file on P. You see, we go with talk or not. Okay, boom, done, boom, done. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is go to free load out. Um, God dang freeloader. <laughs> Taka is that, but a freeloader. 
Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up closing the mouth. We're gonna end up shutting up Taco for the first time in his life. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna end up doing is going to preload out. We're gonna go to open window settings. We're gonna end up going to motion, going to standing only. Okay, so this is where, like, in the Roid, I mean, like, the Roid, but, uh, uh, Magic Mirror, where you can end up doing poses. Right now, what we need to do is, uh, it was kind of a joke. The man's the master of jokes, uh. You would get that it was a joke anyways. I would never shut the man up. <laughs> like, hell no. I would never silence Taka. He's... <laughs> now Joey's putting words in my mouth. Now I feel awkward. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to end up doing... Like, I wish I could work on the legs this way. So, what we're going to end up doing is taking photos of this. So, what I'm going to end up doing, clip. I'm going to open the file. Okay, so. Let's see if it's saved it. Where are you, Taka? Where is that boy? Where is that boy? Okay, so right now we're going to close that window of Taka. Mm, where is that boy? Ah, here you are. Okay, so we got him. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is now, like, going back to Windows Paint. We're going to end up entering, entering the throne room. All right. Taka's throne room. All right, so what we're going to end up doing, we're going to make it a little bit bigger, right? But what we're going to end up doing is taking away, like, a large portion of the hallway. As we wanted to give off, like, he's right there, sitting on the throne room, up close, now what we're going to end up doing is, and I quote, entering in the stickers, of course. And how we're going to do this, we're going to take Taka's, like, v model that I just created. We're going to go to magic. All right. We are literally just, do you believe in magic in a VTuber's heart? Wow, that was cringe. So we're going to end up removing all the, uh... That, and we're going to go to done. We're going to make this... What we need to do is increase the size. Like, make it a bit wider. There, he actually looks like he's sitting on his throne. A simple art piece for her, that, one of the most over-the-top individuals. Now what we're going to do is add the stickers of the, um, well, and I quote, Monster Girls. If, did I ever say those? Oh my god! We ran into a new problem. I've never saved any images of my monster girls. I can fix that. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. 
All right, so what we're gonna end up doing is loading from files of PC. We're gonna surround this man with pollen salters. Behold, the majestic, the beautiful, the vicious pollen salter. The most mad milk hungry monster in the far fantasy such cabinet. And what we're gonna end up doing is so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to free and load out. Alright, so we're gonna go to the world. And right now what we're gonna do is like kinda give her the feeling that she's kneeling over. Like she's kinda like bowing to Taka or not, it's like overall like Majesty. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna spin her around. We're gonna spin her around. Joey, close your eyes. You don't wanna see the rear end. I'll let you know when it's safe. That boy needs to hold on to his innocence. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is now uh, changing the position. And we're going to end up, uh, you know, just raising her up. What we're going to do is bring the arms in closer. We're going to rotation the hands, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to end up turning them. And we're going to do this. What we're going to do, we're going to lift them up. We want to look like Pawn Salta is blushing a bit, you know, with her hands on her face. We're going to rotation. We're going to end up, like, moving the hands up. Okay, what we're going to end up doing is separating the hands a bit, because, like, new. Okay, so closing them in a bit. You know, now we need to go back to the position. Now we're going to bring it up in closer to the face. Lift them up. Okay. Push, pull them out. All right. Now rotation a bit. Like position. Uh, rotation. We're gonna do this because, like, okay, position, like, widen out a bit, right? Push them forward a bit, and the hands are inside out. Are you kidding me? Rotation. Um, okay, like, lift those hands up a bit, like that. All right, now we're going to go to position again. We're going to close them in. Now we're going to move them back. Go bring them outward a bit. Rotation again. Position. Oh, I like that. Okay, I like. All right, there we go. Like, Pawn Salt is kind of putting her hair back. Hmm. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is uh, Windows G. We're going to end up saving. All right, there we go. All right, so we got the two positions we need. We end up closing this. Um, you can open your eyes now, Joey. That boy is so innocent. So what we're gonna end up doing? <laughs> He's like.
He's like, no, I want to see this. I want to see the horny. He, he wants to see it. You cannot handle the horny. No, I want to see. <laughs> he wants to see the horny. What have I done to this man? I want to see it. Make it stop. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to magic. <laughs> so what we're gonna end up doing is like putting Pond Salta in the bowing position. Um. In the art, uh, I'm gonna be real. Up. Oh, Wow, this is a little bit too close. That's too close for comfort. No, I want to see it. You want to see the ass cheeks? Wow, and people call me horny. People call me horny. You ignoring I. So... What we're gonna end up doing is like increasing his size, but it, like, okay, right there, all right? So we're gonna end up having two pollen salters bowing next to him, getting head pats. Right? We want them to have those head pats. Because what female VTuber doesn't like head pats? I know I want to see it. <laughs> like, see what I see what VTubing does to people. Like, see what it does, everyone. Oh, you don't want to. Oh, you don't want to see it. It's kind of like a car wreck, isn't it? Like, you see it, but you don't want to see it. <laughs> Nailed it. it... <sighs> well, it's kind of hard to pick it up. Misreading my comments 30 times. Okay, what I need to do is redo all this. But the palm salt is first. Bowing and accepting head pads. At the throat room. I want to see the explosions the lace cannons. Uh, there would have been explosions if it was going to be an action scene. Um... This is more of just an art paste of like the horny for Taka. <sighs> that boy. I want to see explosions and laser cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my boy. My boy, there's no laser cannons or explosions today. This is just a simple art piece. For, like, Taka or not. Oh, Team Four Star, like, 
this is a way for me to show respect to the guy and open up more windows. For like collabs, like. Done. All right, so what we're gonna end up doing is taking this and making it bigger than the others, right? Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna copy it and paste. Just two more. Just to fit, oh, like the overall. Just make sure she's fully, like in front of, Final six seven, Joey. Um, uh, like in the game, Paul and Salta only has a swimsuit. As a matter of fact, it's not a swimsuit. It's a part of her. It's a part of her being. Paul and Salta is not wearing an outfit. That swimsuit is her skin. Okay, there we go. <sighs> All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to save the image. Well, first, like, first, we're going to put, like, a text. Uh, like, and we're going to put it in gold letters, because, like, why not? The man's just so golden. So we're going to go with this. Go like T A T K A because I want people to obliterate all the thought process. <laughs> then you better freaking call Exodia to do that. You're gonna need Exodia to do obliterate. Uh, King of M O N S T Monster VTuber G I R. What? Because I want people to obliterate the thought process. What do you mean by that? Ignore the corny. We just need explosions and chaos. Oh. Like, dude, this is an art piece. Like, Taka or not is horny and hilarious. He's not violent and destructive. Like, he, he's not a violent VTuber. He's hilarious, he's funny, he's horny. That's his shtick. Uh, that's his whole act as a VTuber. And, uh, like, asking me to do explosions and chaos right now is not a part of live stream right now, dude. Uh, I guess? Uh, you do you, man. You do you. Do you you, you want to make an enemy of one of the biggest like parry actors of all time you do you man <laughs> like uh, holy crud same as image like save now we're gonna end up saving this into like pictures like art of T-A K 
Okay, Art of Takahata 101. And the art commission, like the art is done. My art is done. Now what we need to do is upload it to my Twitter. Like post it on my, my freaking Twitter. And the first art of September will finally be over. I wanted to say, I wanted to have Taka's like art done first. It's simply because like, I would suck his cock. I literally would. He's probably the only man's cock I would suck. It would be an honor, honor and a privilege with that. Um, my F R I first art of. Uh, September. Now I gotta double check the word September. Like this will be uploaded September. Well, it's being uploaded right now. So like, and I misspelled first. Where the freaking go? Personal pictures. Where it go? Fair enough. Okay, so what I need to do is now just find where the hell it went. Recent, recent. Okay, gallery, you're right. Ah, here we are. Open. There we go. Taka or not 101, the king of monster VTuber girls. Ah. <sighs> And there we have it. Put it to the top of my profile. Okay. Well, we're going to see how this post goes. Hopefully, it goes well. I have been Commander Devin Lionheart, a.k.a. Commander D. Thank you, as I commend to all of your nuts to be here to watch my live stream. Until next time, I'll see you on the next planet. And Joey Bro Rambo will as well. This live stream has come to a close. And he might sleep. Mwah! Good night, everybody! Suck my giant D.
but you know you can't. <laughs>